thanks to the media for coming out here and uh, reporting a, a different story than uh, what we usually hear about Bradley. Um, as an intelligence officer in Iraq, uh, Private First Class Bradley Manning saw evidence of corruption, of criminality, of human rights violations. He saw a video of our army indiscriminately and recklessly killing civilians. He read cables where our government threatened and bribed other governments to undermine the global effort to combat climate change. He saw evidence of our government officials conspiring with Exxon and Monsanto lobbying on behalf of corporations. What were his choices when he saw these disturbing things? Most people would have did nothing. He could have kept his mouth shut, lived a normal life. He could have just said he was taking orders. His orders were indeed to be silent, to process the information and pass it on. But history is pushed forward when extraordinary individuals stop taking orders. Bradley didn't reveal troop positions. That's a common misperception. In fact, they went to careful, they went to extreme um, consideration to black out names to make sure people weren't put in our way. He didn't expose any defense secrets. He exposed corruption and crime. In an online chat where uh, Bradley allegedly confessed, or this is a supposed online chat, he tells a former hacker who asked him, why does he do this? Why did he take this risk? Bradley says, hopefully this will start worldwide discussion, debates, and reforms. If not, we are doomed as a species. The ball is in our court now. Bradley did what he had to do. It's us to, up to us to be public in our support. That's the only way we'll, we'll not change. Right? If we privately support Bradley, it doesn't matter. Absolutely has no bearing whatsoever. So the best thing we can do is make our feelings known public is to engage conversation with other people. Hello. We are all here today voicing our concerns regarding the treatment of 23-year-old PFC Bradley Manning, who has been held in solitary confinement in the Quantico confinement facility for five months. He is being held with reported draconian treatment. He is confined to his cell 23 hours a day. Communication with others, banned. He is not allowed to sleep between 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. and the only exercise permitted is walking, most likely in chains. Guards check on him every five minutes and response is required. He must surrender his clothes each night and is permitted only a suicide blanket which is akin to an x-ray vest, and guards must be able to see his face at all times. It is the citizen's duty to act on his behalf. Uh, the United Electrical Workers, I'm proud to say, was a founding member of U.S. Uh, Labor Against the War and continues to maintain a membership there because we recognize that the wars in Iraq and in Afghanistan uh, imperil our very democracy. We're not only throwing away lives, American lives and American money, American treasure in these wars, but we're also endangering our own souls, our own integrity here. Uh, in West Virginia, we might not think that this kind of corruption overseas would impact us, but it actually does, because if we will punish a whistleblower like, like Bradley Manning, then we make it harder and harder for public workers in West Virginia to blow the whistle on their agencies and our government when they misbehave, when they break the law and they act against public policy. The best solvent for 
corruption, it's the sunlight of publicity. The truth needs to be known, not just in Afghanistan and Iraq, but here at home, here in West Virginia. We need to have transparency, or we will lose any hope we have for democracy. So we as stands behind in efforts to bring these wars to a close, to bring the American government accountable to its people, and realize the ideas of democracy that we so long ago tried to found. We want people to contact John M. McHugh, Secretary of the Army, and General George W. Casey Jr., Chief of Staff of the Army, and ask that they release Bradley from his pre-trial confinement and drop all charges immediately. Sweet. Song.